Okay, I've done the unboxing video and now I want to run through some features of the BA6010 from B&K Precision. Now, of course, uh, I was having some problems reading the manual, so I decided I'll just fool around with this thing and see where it takes me. So right now, um, it's on a measurement to display and... Uh, if we go over here, it's Files, Tools menu, and we have a short uh, calibration thing, so we can put the leads together here and run a short calibration, and it says completed. So we're good to go there. Let's go back to the measurement screen, and it says it's measuring resistance, so let's put a resistor in there. Here's a big wire one resistor, 5 watts, and it's a 33 ohm resistor reading 32.65. It's a 5% resistor, so it's within tolerance. But this meter is much more than just a resistance meter and it's much more than just a battery analyzer so let's go down to function here and we have some different things we can measure the resistance and its Q factor that's pretty low but we can go to more here and look at this we can do inductance and resistance at the same time now that's a wire wound, wire wound resistor so it does have some inductance. It's bobbling around a bit, but um, if I let it stabilize, you can see that it's it's somewhere around two microhenries. And how many meters do you have that can measure both inductance and resistance at the same time? That's incredible. I mean, I was not expecting this kind of feature in this uh, instrument when I uh, applied for this road test. And I'm betting that a bunch of would-be applicants are kicking themselves for not applying for it as well because it can measure uh, capacitance. So here's a nicely color-coded multi-layer ceramic cap capacitor which is one microfarad. Let's push the capacitance measurement and dissipation factor. And there we go, 997 nanofarads. Very close to its one microfarad rating so this is great we can measure all kinds of components let's try another big wire round resistor this this one here the markings are kind of worn off a little bit I mean these things are as old as I am I'm not saying something so uh, dissipation factor let's go back to resistance uh, so it's one ohm. Look at all those digits. So it, it may not be accurate to every one of these digits, but they're very good for comparing one device to another. So let's try a carbon resistor. Let's just crank it in here. This is a 10 ohm resistor. And it's reading 13 ohms. It's obviously a fairly... Um, actually, it's got a gold band on here. That should be a 5% resistor, but uh, nonetheless, it's older than, the hill, older than the hills. And it's reading 13 ohms. Let's put it on inductance. It's really not getting a good reading on inductance because it's a carbon resistor. Let's try, this is a non-polarized 100 microfarad capacitor. Okay, here we go. And of course we want to go to the capacitance scale. And it says it's 116 microfarads with a dissipation factor of 0.1. Whoa, the cat just tipped over the, the, the lighting system. Okay, 
That's awesome. And uh, let's try it the other way. It's non-polarized. And it's reading exactly the same. That's great. So here is an inductor. That's one curious cat over there. All right, so I'm going to clip this inductor and go back to inductance here. Now this is a 33 microhenry inductor, but it's reading 46 microhenries. Um, at one kilohertz, I presume, that's what the frequency is that it's measuring this at. Very interesting, so let's try an exact same part. Well, it's another part, but the same batch. And it's reading the same. So this batch is turning out at about 46 microhenries when they should be 33. But this is an amazing feature of this meter. It can measure uh, the Q factor of an inductor. It can measure uh, inductance and resistance at the same time, uh, capacitance and dissipation. Um, I'm not even sure what all of these things are, but I will figure it out. Um, and of course it can do resistance and voltage when we're measuring a battery. So I will get around to measuring batteries, but uh, this is just a quick teaser that this meter is a lot more than just a battery analyzer.